Nikopi, here with a let's play of Judgment. Yes, that's right. <laughs> let's play. It's probably not going to come as much of a shock to a lot of you guys, as it was no secret that I was anticipating this game. I've been anticipating for quite a while, as it is a game that is a bit of a spin-off of Yakuza, uh, also taking place in Kamurocho, the same city that uh, Kiryu is from, but with a different protagonist and some new gameplay uh, additions. It's uh, meant to sort of set this one apart a little bit from the, ser from the series mainstay. Although I believe it still has a fair amount of combat in it anyway, so... I think it'll still seem familiar to Yakuza fans, but with some new additions and stuff. And I've been really excited about this. The, the buzz around this game has been quite good. I was actually a bit nervous for a while, too, because for those of you who don't know, there was actually an actor in this game that uh, reprised a role for one of the characters, as well as his uh, his actual, like, 3D facial features. And he was caught with uh, cocaine. And Sega was not too happy about that. Uh, in Japan, apparently, like, drugs are, like, a big, big deal. Like, getting caught with drugs is, like, it's, like, almost the equivalent of murdering somebody. Like, it's really bad. So afterwards, they didn't want to uh, keep him in the game, you know? They're like, we have to cut him out somehow. So it, it seemed like there was a possibility this game might get delayed. But fortunately, they managed to uh, update his face to look a bit different. Uh, I've actually seen, I think, what, what it looks like. It's, like, basically, they made him look, honestly, a bit younger. And I think they got a different voice for him as well. Interesting cultural differences, though. I mean, to us, that's not, like, that big of a deal. But to the Japanese, that is like, ooh, that's a bad thing. <laughs> that's very bad. Also, this, this little uh, tile screen here is really cool with the, the red smoke and the blue cigarette smoke. It's cool. All right, let's hop into this. Uh, by the way, unlike all the other Yakuza games, this game actually has an English dub, which is the first time that's happened in a Yakuza XS game uh, since the first game that was for the PS2, where Majima was voiced by Mark freaking Hamill, of all people, which I think was probably the only vo good voice from that. I've actually listened to some of it just to, to hear what it was like, and it was, uh, it was a bit of a mixed bag. <laughs> it was a bit hit or miss, although... Uh, Mark Hamill's pretty much the Joker voice for Majima was surprisingly appropriate. But uh, I'm going to be keeping it on the Japanese dub uh, with English subtitles uh, because that's what I'm used to, you know, from these Yakuza games. Just ever having everyone speak in English would just kind of throw me off. And from what I've heard, that the dub is actually quite good. Um, and I, I did hear that they do sometimes, apparently, have them lip sync in English, but not all the time, weirdly enough. But I'm just used to the Japanese, and we, we're clearly in Japan. These are all very Japanese characters. So I think it will just feel feel more appropriate to, to keep it in the Japanese. So hopefully you guys are right with that. Fortunately, unlike, you know, Steins Gate or something, this is a game that has a whole bunch of fucking crazy action going on and crazy shit happening when, even when everyone's speaking Japanese. So it's just still keep you on your toes. But I'm really excited about this game. When I first heard about this, I thought it sounded really cool. Like, it's like a combination of Yakuza and Phoenix Wright. That's like, oh man, it's so super cool, that idea. And I really hope that they, uh, I don't know, I hope they really do mix things up here. I've uh, actually had a few of my moderators who've been playing this game, they say it's pretty awesome, so. And the reviews for it have been uh, very positive as well. I'll be curious to see if, uh, I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be references to, to Yakuza. I mean, this is taking place in Kamurocho. It's clearly the same universe, right? Uh, I'm, I'd be cool if we actually ran into Kiryu at some point. Although I, I think this game is supposed to take place after the final Yakuza game, I, so I, I might be wrong, but... And also, I think this is supposed to be using the Dragon Engine that was used in uh, Yakuza Kwame 2 and I think also Yakuza 6, so... Which means get ready for some crispy graphics. Oh, by the way, also, I don't know if you guys saw, but Yakuza Kwame 2, which was also in the Dragon Engine, actually got uh, re-released on Steam on PC and uh, they actually updated it with 60 FPS graphics, um, which I, I doubt, I'm sure this one's still gonna have 30 FPS, but seeing the Dragon Engine in 60 FPS was pretty amazing. Just seamlessly walking in and out of buildings and that just silky smooth, oh, oh, frame rate, ah! All right, let me check the settings real quick. Is there anything I need to worry about? Uh, subtitles display instant, letter by letter. What if we better instant or letter by letter? Oh, Lord. Just the two, two images are easy to see, Jesus. That light one is, like, very hard to see. It seems way too dark, though. Let me try letter by letter, just because I'm kind of curious to see how that looks. But, all right, guys. So, it's, it's actually been quite a while now since the Yakuza Kwame 2 Let's Play. So, I think this is uh, coming out at just the right time. But, I'm excited to see where this uh, new direction for uh, the Yakuza-style gameplay goes. And what, see what this new protagonist is like, as well. I'll be curious to see, though, also, like, will, like, Kiryu or Majima or somebody else show up at some point? Assuming they're not dead by the uh, the final game of the series. I, I don't know, or at least some reference to them. I, I wouldn't be surprised. But, all right, guys, 
let's get started. Okay, now if this is anything like any of the previous games, I'm gonna want to go on a hard mode. So, because <laughs> these games always, basically, are always like, even if you select hard mode, the game might be like, is the hardest at the very beginning, and then by the end of the game, you're still like a god. Wow, they even have simple mode in this mode. Press square in battle, will automatically perform complex move with moves with ease. No way, man. Go hard fucking core. God, seriously, look, this is. That is really hard to see. Even a dark, I can just barely see that image on the right. All right let's go with that. Yes. Oh my God. Auto save. Yes. What the fuck? I never thought I'd see the day. I don't think they had auto save in any of the previous Yakuza Kiwami games. I think. You always had to do that shit manually. All right. Who I'm excited, guys. It's like starting fresh again. I'm curious to see what Kamurocho looks like now, because this is going to be, I think, present day uh, Kamurocho, I think, compared to where we left off in Kwame 2, which was back in the early 2000s. I will say, the UI design and, like, that little triangle down there in the loading screen is reminding me a lot of, like, Assassin's Creed. Naruhodo. Doesn't seem to go in letter by letter like I thought it would. Director of the Genda Law Office, Ryuzo Genda. What, Yagami? Yeah, <laughs> It's gonna be our guy, right? Lawyer at the Genda Law Office, Ta Takeyuki Yagami. Lawyer at the Genda Law Office, Sayori Shiyosaki, Shirosaki. また <laughs> 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 Wow, so even in this, the, the top of how most ended in conviction anyway. So that's when you know you've got a problem with your judicial system, I think. ご忠告ありがとうございます。どうしてもという <laughs> 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 Yes, it's quite ridiculous. Oh shit. わかりました。伝えます。どうした
ガソリンで火を。おなわけねえだろ。Well, fuck! Don't m a g u n d l e me, man! 恋人を刺したって。大久保君がエミちゃんを。そんな。That guy's got the rumor doll too! なんでだよ。My gal's gonna fit right in with a freaking Ace Attorney Let's Play. Jesus Christ! Whoops. Okay, uh. Oh, he's covered in her blood. Good freaking lord! Ah, dead! あの日、弁護士としての俺は、エミちゃんと共に殺された。What? That was fucking fast! 連続殺人鬼、大久保新平の手によって。Fuck! Oh, three years later. December 10th, 20, 2018. Yeah, this is definitely contemporary. Kamurocho! Dude, you don't know you to tell me where I am. I fucking know. I recognize these landmarks, although it actually looks even more futuristic than uh, uh, Yakuza Kiwami. Well, futuristic, more present, more modern, I suppose. Oh, damn, I turned into a dirty old hobo! Yagami. Kaito san, sochi do. I'm scared of the Yagami Detective Agency, Masaharu Kaito. Oh, I'm undercover. Maybe it might be a little too dark. I might have to lighten this. Raise the light a bit more. Are you gonna be my Shiki man? Oh, I'm glad to see everybody in cover is still a giant asshole. なんだてめえこれ。何何死にたいの何何死にたいのおい何やってんだタボいやチンピラに因縁つけられてついついってお前が慎重に言って言ってたくせにチンピラって誰のことだ Oh, dude, does everybody in this city know fucking kung fu? Except for the generic thugs. I know, a totally new style of fighting, right? No more dragon style! Time for Jackie Chan style! Yeah, I know Jackie Chan's Chinese, but... So fucking demon matter. See you later. Okay, I think that might be a little too dark. Despite that thing telling me until both the images look visible. Because the blacks are a little intense. Street thugs. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, see. Can I check my settings here? Yep, yep, there they are. It's fine, I said letter by letter, and it's still showing it all at once. Oh, maybe it only does it if you're... if they're speaking in English. That might be it. So this is, it only will do it as a direct... But it says those subtitles were written specifically to accommodate Japanese audio, so they won't match the English anyway. 
<laughs> I, I don't know if I can get it. Okay, I think it's a bit better. That's cool, though. I'm, I'm, I'm using my smartphone here. Kamarocho Go? Oh my god, is that a gotcha? Some gotcha shit? Ooh, DLC coming soon. Alright. Square, 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 triangle. Oh, yeah! Blocking attacks. Hold L... L1 to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is particularly important for surviving tough fights. This game will end when you run out of health. For more blocking enemies, leads them up to attack, so be sure to guard when necessary. Okay, that's that's new. We don't really uh Kiryu didn't really believe in guarding. Except for a couple of his stances. Like the uh the beast mo the beast stance. Facing the wrong way. Okay, lock on enemies, that's the that's the same. Uh, fade. Yeah, it's the same as well. Here's it. Circle, grapple enemies, pick up weapons. Okay. Woo! X actions. So the new heat actions. Attack enemies to charge up the X gauge at the top left corner. Having at least one segment of the X gauge charged will allow you to use X actions. Trial X actions, pop on screen. Uh, so when enemies knocked down, grab and hold a wall. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly why they're changing the name of it. It's totally different from heat actions. <laughs> totally different. For stars, for struggle while holding a weapon, knock an enemy next to knock down it. Okay. Okay. Give me this shit. Boom. Wee! Oh, dude, that's the same exact heat action cure you had. <laughs> Alright, finish the battle. Not a sin off. Oh, wait, I do feel pretty slow, honestly, right now. Hopefully, I get some speed up soon. Oh, my God. This guy's all about the his fucking kicks. <laughs> Jesus. Kick ya, kick ya. Woo! Boom, bitch! Alright, 100 SP. So it looks like this is probably gonna be a different system from the eating food thing from Kwame 2. Oh! <laughs> Fucking Batman, bitch! Ah, what my- what my- my fake beard off there too. In one smooth motion. What the hell? Kaido-san. So what's going on now? The pink door is going to be able to get out of the way. The people are going to be able to get out of the way. Look at this guy in his skinny ass jeans. What's your pink stories? Check out the map and get my bearings. All right. Oh God, it's bar me off. Of course it is. It always bar you off right at the start. All right. Well, this all looks quite familiar. Wonder if they have some kind of. I got the Children's Park over there. That's where the pocket racing used to be. Um, hotel district. The bag center still there. You can already stake. Conrad still there. Host hosts hangout. Popo. Uh, Comercio Hills. Okay, that's that has been redone entirely. That was the the whole mini game in Yakuza Kiwami 2 was making Comercio Hills. So that's that'll be new. See what it looks like completed. Um, Earth Angel still there. Shalak. Uh, modern Mahjong. Okay, so we do have Mahjong in this, and it's over there. La March. Don Quixote. That's yeah. Pawn shop. I wonder if I'll go to, um, Susan, uh, Susan Bora, too. In this one. Cafe Alps. Uh, oh wait, they have two Mahjong areas? Modern Mahjong and Lullaby Mah Mahjong. Two types of dip Mahjong, what the fuck? Apple Pie Break Room? Turtle Financing Break Room. That's, that looks kind of new. Walt Jackson. We got, uh, Smile Burger? Come on, I got my Smile Burger. There it is! 
P Paradise VR. The fuck? Tell me you got rid of my bowling alley. All right, there's Club Sega. Should be another one right here. Yeah, right there. Okay. And yeah, this does seem to be, I think, the same engine as... Uh... I'm sprinting. You almost sprint, so no, lo so no need to hold it down. Oh, okay. It'll keep sprinting. That's actually a new addition before you did have to hold it down. Hey, that's cool. Oh my god, look at me actually... Well, actually, no. This is still this is still going by the same rules as uh, Kwame 2, where my regular movement is a walk and then a run. I mean, what happened to the good old days of the uh, Kwame 1 and Yaksa 0, where I just had a default run, and then if I wanted to uh, go faster, I could sprint. Can I go to Club Sega? No. So that's kind of nice. I don't have to hold it down anymore. I probably have a stamina gauge still, though. Oh my god. It is really weird to be controlling someone who's not Kiryu in Kamurocha, though. It's weird me the fuck out. God damn, this looks fucking great, though. I would be surprised if they'd done some new additions to make this look even nicer, because this... I, I don't know, it could be just be my, my imagination, but this actually does look even nicer, I think, than Kwame 2 did. Smile Burger, guys! Yay! Yo, what up, lady? I don't think I can talk to you, because this damn tutorial message won't go away. God, fuck! Oh, wait! Oh my god! Guys, we're in the dragon! Do you know what that means? Can I cause things to explode with just my body? This isn't a good place. I gotta tell- I gotta- Oh my god, maybe these break rooms will- Oh wait! Giant coat! Mind are you in there! Mind what? Mind what? Explode? Yes! Oh my god! Please let them have rooms full of boxes and shit! I gotta do this! I gotta do it with this new guy here! With freaking Light Yagami here. Got any like collectibles or anything here? What? <laughs> what? I just wanted to murder some people, okay? Is that so much to ask for? Alright. You think I'm just gonna let that guy. Just gonna let people push me around this city? You better guess again. What was that? It's like a message or something pop up. Everybody looking at their phones now. What did the detective look like again? Should probably take another look at the... Oh, the sketch. This hat's pretty unique. Interesting jacket, too. Let's take a Molo's face. Five o'clock shadow and almond-shaped eyes. It's kind of the face that someone not used to the city might feel intimidated by. Okay, time to see if anyone fits the, the bill. Wait, it, it's automatically... Oh, tailing search mode. In this mode, you must look at your target based off the characteristics. Uh, you cannot exit first person view. Find the person who matches the traits displayed on the right. If you find anyone suspicious, hover over them and hold R2 to observe them more closely. Press X examine will determine verify the person's a match. If they, they are, you've found your mark. Time to start tailing. Okay. Is there... Hold on a second. It's auto... It's auto going through all the, uh... Uh, all the dialogue. Is there a way to turn that off? Oh, fuck. I don't see anything. I don't see anything to turn that off. Oh, that sucks! No! <laughs> that, that really blows! Oh, man. I hope it's not like that the entire game. Are you only in, like, main cutscenes here or something? Still, that does kind of suck. It means you gotta read fast. Why would they do that? That is... That is really bizarre. Why they not just give us the option to press X? I guess... I mean, maybe the same reason why you, you don't have to hold X now to, to sprint just to make it quote-unquote easier, but I mean... That, that's like... I mean, what if I can't read as fast as the thing's going by? Okay. Okay, that's gotta be my guy right there. Somebody told me before that I should... Make sure to keep an eye out for, uh, apparently, uh, stray cats. I don't know if that's going to be in this mode, but it's supposed to happen when you go into first person. I don't know if it's... It might be a different section, though. Hmm. But I think that must be, like, this game's, like, side thing or something, right? Like, maybe get bonus unlockables. Anyway, I think it's this guy right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
やじやさせがってやれやれかったよ。うテネスピー。うぅー !I get my special points! Yeah! <laughs> That's cool. I will say the, the guys behind the, the cinematography in these games, it's just like always on point. Oh fuck, I gotta tail him. Oh god, we're going to Assassin's Creed on this. Uh, about tailing. When you make some kind of commotion that could attract the, the target's attention, the caution gauge at the top of the screen will fill. If the, the caution gauge reaches the limit, then you'll fill the mission. If you're about to get noticed, take cover behind a building or put more, more distance between yourself and the target. The caution gauge will start to go down once you successfully avoid detection. A counter tower will display at the top of the screen if you lose sight of your target. Locate the target before the counter reaches zero. Uh, lose the target side of the target will result in failure. Okay. Um, can I hide behind like this or something? The target may start to act more cautiously as it, if, as, if they suddenly have an inkling that they're being watched. Oh, okay. Okay, now, now I can press X to, to progress to this, so it may just happen sometimes. Target sees you when this happens. Ca the caution gauge will start spiking. Falling, failing to get outside in time will cost you commission. Oh, yep. Your target won't be able to find you while you're taking cover. Press circle to get behind cover. Whoosh. You won't be able to move while hiding, so find the right time to emerge by pressing circle so your target doesn't slip, completely slip away. So you didn't see anything, man. I was never here. I'm like fucking lightning. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. Like a... Just casually gets in place there. I'm a motherfucking secret agent, bitch. ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっ
あれ結構済んだからさいいからお前は探偵見失うなよ Yeah, yeah. It's fine, man, all right? I've played my fair share of Assassin's Creed games. God, these guys always walk slow as fuck, though. <laughs> Dramatic music that starts flying when it's like... You're fine, man, all right? You're fucking fine. I don't know how he can't see me, honestly. Oh, he's going down dead end, I believe. I think. At least that used to be a dead end. All right, tail complete. All right, time to go kick his ass. That's why. That's how Curious solved all his problems. Kaido さん、探偵はチャンピオン街の空き地に入ってた。あの先は行き止まりだ。今追ってったらバレるね。Oh, there's a guy right there. そんなとこに何の用だ。多分誰かと会う。Come here, Kitty. 人に見られたくない待ち合わせってとこか。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。Know what to do? 見えるか。上だ。ちょっと待ってもらっていい。A pigeon? Uh, oh, here we go. Active search mode. It's used when investigating crime scenes, checking facts, scouring for evidence. Uh, you'll operate in first person view during this mode. Use the objectives displayed on the right of the screen to help you figure out what you need to investigate. There are times when you must stand in place and observe the area without moving around. Uh, you'll move the crosshairs over to suspicious areas, press R2 to hone in. Examine for you to check it out. So in various pe pieces of evidence to satisfy all conditions to complete your investigation. Okay, maybe this is what you guys are referring to. Because there's a there's literally a cat right there. Hi, kitty. So what voice should I give this guy? Um, Definitely not something as heavy as Kiryu. Some, something a little lighter. Maybe, maybe like the axle voice or something. I, that's no pigeon. That's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! All right, yes. Examine that stray cat. So I guess that must... Like, these like the little bonus... Easter eggs or something you get from this. I'm trying to think of what's, what is that comparable to? Like, oh, like the the Korok seeds, right? From uh, Breath of the Wild. Kinda. You said to get little bonus thingies. I don't know. I may just get bonus EXP, okay? I see him up there. Make sure there's not anything else, like, around here. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's he doing in a place like this? Oh, yeah, I, I get EXP or, well, SP for doing it, so probably best to examine as many things as possible for moving on, right? I spy an AC unit! Oh, okay. oh cool! Uh, once you're done inspecting everything relevant to the case, press circle to finish. Oh, cool, okay, so it doesn't just end, you can just keep looking around if you want. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing this as definitely being a look, look at, examine as many things as humanly possible uh, before moving on. Okay. Think we're good. Tegi haga ii na, Kaito-san. Souju mo anteh shite ru. Daibu renshu shita? I didn't have this shit in Kwame, too. My sexy new smartphone, too. Dare ka iru zo. Tante no hoka ni mou shitori. We got horse races now. Nomi, what <laughs> <laughs> Oh, time to beat their ass? You said the magic fucking words. Hi, <laughs> Kitty! Mr. Kitty, what are you doing here? <laughs> no, Mr. Kitty, it's my investigation, alright? You gotta get out of here. 
No, Mr. K I, I'm, I'm the one in this case, okay? Then the cat just turns his head and goes, No, Mr. Yakami, you are off the case. I am commandeering this case of yours. Damn, Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty, what can I give him to let this case go? Ah! Hunter fish, fuck off, Mr. Kitty. God damn it. He hit the boss of me, Mr. Kitty. I was gonna do this shit myself. Domo. Oh, now it's, now it's scrolling along there. なんだ。なんだ。カムロ町の飲み屋はサービスがいいんだってね。当てれば配当は1割増し、外したバケンの1割は客にバック。ギャンブル好きにありがたいよな。俺も今度やってみようかな。あれもう行っちゃうのまだ
<laughs> Woo! Oh, I got fucking fire too. This guy blocking my shit. What's happening? Woo! Yeah! Oh, yeah, bitch! I ain't curb stopping this, so I'm just kicking you right in the fucking jaw. Ugh. Oh, I, there's, a, there's a cat. I, just still got, I still got my heal drop. Oh, I still glow with energy when I fucking do this shit. I love it. Come here. Wow, I built up energy fucking fast. Woo! Booyah, baby! I like when, that, when I clear objective, it's like you hear like a snap of a finger. I don't know. It's like, it's very satisfying. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. お前も探偵って言ってたな。名前は今更名刺交換でもないだろう。ヤガミだ。カムロ町のヤガミ探偵事務所。What this guy's based off a real life actor? I don't know. He looks sort of familiar, honestly. ほら、金渡してくれ。手間賃込みで15万。お互い紳士的に行こう。ふざけんな。こんな取り立てあるか。I kind of doubt it just cuz Kiri was it, I don't think. I think for their main characters they try to keep him original. Holy fuck. てめえらそうに言えた口か。ちょっと、カイトさん。なんだよ。何が Oh, I got a Yakuza friend, though. Fuck me, man. Can't escape the Yakuza here in Kamurocho, all right? Believe it or not, he's LeBron. I'm just the kind of skinny, lanky, fast guy. But I can still kick your ass. What are you, Shido? Get out of here. <laughs> Dude, that's like あの骨が折れてる。話が出てるだけだよ。大体先に手出したのそっちだろ。いや、お前が先に殴った。訴え。ああ、was my dumb どうする本当に出るとこ出るでもおい、oh, am I still a lawyer? だいてが悪いと思うよ。It's funny, I didn't actually realize how small the little that it was it's not really a badge, it's more of a pin. <laughs> I honestly thought they were bigger than that. Is that how big Phoenix's is too? I just like I so used to sing in his inventory, I just kinda of imagine it was like a big thing that could fit like in the pop like a big thing that fit in your the palm of your hand. Like an actual like an actual size of a bagel. Or a cronut. Oh shit, here we go. Intro time. <laughs> God, it sounds like an Imagine Dragon song coming in. Takayuki Gami. Led by Takuya Kimura. Based on a story by Toshihiro Nagashi. Ooh, this song sounds super copyrighted, though. Oh, I think it was this guy. I think this is the guy that would, uh, that got replaced. God, this is the most anime fucking intro ever. The Fuyu Fuji! Oh my god! V for Vendetta Mask! Oh, there we go. Theme song by Ar Arpeggio. 
Oh, this is my Dante like friend, alright? Going up and down in your. <laughs> I don't know if I should risk leaving this song in or not. I don't know, I'm tempted just because it is so anime. I want to leave it in there. <laughs> Judgment. Dude, the start of every episode is going to be like that. Judgment is what happens when Yakuza really gets his own anime. Alright, that was cool. That was a cool intro. <laughs> だが、I wonder if I just kept my badge when I was a lawyer, though. I did say my, my life as a lawyer was over after that last thing. What the fuck? He's got a bird mask on. Oh, V for Vendetta guy. Okay. That's alright, it's just because the police of this city are just completely useless. We all know it wasn't Kiryu. Kiryu never killed anybody! The Tojo clan again! We just can't get away from those guys, can we? こいつも目を潤。うう。3人の役座の6つの目玉は未だに見つかってない。そんな町の片隅で俺は探偵事務所。ナスティ。ただ 1人 Yagami Takayukiwa. Sanemani Hote or Hanareta Bengoshi Demor. But I still keep the Chrono Patch. What in a mots Bengoshi Bachini Amo Kazarijo no Imiwanai. Oh, I see. Yeah. So I don't really have any. I don't really have any cloud or anything. I just. I'm surprised they let me keep it. <laughs> Maybe they just didn't know I didn't give it back. Oh, sweet. My office is right next to Club Sega. Fuck yeah. Anytime I want, I can go down there and play some games. I'd actually be curious to see what games they have now in this one. Chapter 1, Three Blind Mice. Ah, that's gross, man. Why'd you do? Why'd you take their eyes? What the fuck could you possibly want to do with that? The game is afoot! By which I mean my foot in your face! Ooh, pinball machine. Kore, Kongetsubun no Kurio, ne? Marekedo no Kuriwa, Mata. Omae no Tribunwa. Yo Koitsua Irani ni Watasbunashi. Ore no Bunwa, Masa no Chi. Soka, Soka. Mata Genda Sensen to go in Timidua. Nanka Shibotanai cut. Asoko no Hori Tsimusho. さい<笑> I wonder what the, the guy's age is. I mean, he called me Stab, which was definitely a joke, but he seems he seems older than me. 
Earn rewards on the go. Uh. Oh, cool. I actually whipped my phone out now. Uh, Alright, let's have a look at some of these things. Oh, that's interesting. Strong attacks will just shout additional damage if there are fallen enemies nearby. I mean, if, even if I'm not attacking that same enemy, just they're falling down and I'll... Or maybe it just means my heat actions or whatever. Okay, guards can be broken, which will leave you wide open, but this can be mitigated by acquiring a certain skills. Okay. Oh, that's right. I, this is a move that I... It took me a long time to sort of figure out this is a thing you could do, but you, that's right. If you hold L2, you can prevent uh, the use of heat actions. Oh, we could taunt, too. Charged up. Okay, we still... So we can st still taunt... All right. Over the, over the years, Yagami has mastered two distinct styles, the crane and the tire, which you can switch between at, at any time. Effective against groups, just out quick attacks that cover a wide area, possesses an abundance of X actions that uses that to use against multiple enemies. Okay. The tire style is effective against a single opponent, delivers powerful attacks against a single enemy that can break through gar their guard, possesses an abundance of X actions to use against a single enemy. Okay, cool. I like that. So a bit like uh, Yakuza Zero. Only with two this time, but I think... I don't know, that's nice. I like the idea of just uh, one for crowd control and one for one-on-one. One for legs and one for hands. X knockout. Oh, cool, I can see all my different ones here. So, so that's my new curb stomp there. Pendulum swing. Oh my god, do it through an open door. That's awesome. Oh, down this flight of stairs. Oh, front door wall crush. Reversal wall crush. All right, I skipped over a lot of these just because I, I don't want to spoil uh, what happens with them. But all right, um, restaurants, the important of regular meals. Chow down at one of the main restaurants to recover health. The amount of health recovers depends on what you order. Try to get to know the staff of each of the restaurants you visit. The man up giving you access to their secret menu. To drink or not to drink. Commerce as many bars and dining establishments offer a wide selection of alcohol to choose from. When Yagami decides to drink, his intoxication level will rise. Char charge up his X gauge faster when he's drunk. Yagami go through several stages of intoxication depending on how much alcohol he consumes. Once he consumes a certain amount of alcohol, he won't be able to drink anymore until you give him time to sober up. However, you acquire skills that raise alcohol tolerance and make it more functional at the bar. Okay. That's pretty much the same. It does seem like, just based on that, it does sound like the uh, the food mechanic from before isn't going to be in this. So, Which I think is good. I, I don't think I think it's probably a good idea to sort of mix things up each game. Yagami Detective Agency. Uh, make yourself at home. You can access a variety of useful features of the Yagami Home Office. More will come available as we go through the story. Uh, oh, I can restore my health there or change the time of day. There will be certain points in the story when resting is unavailable. Decorate. It doesn't take an interior desire to know how to spruce up an office. All you need to do is add some decorations to make it feel like home. Oh, that's so cool! Yes! Believe it or not, this is actually... I think I mentioned this before while playing Yakuza. I, this thing I always wanted. Like, to actually have my own, like, a little apartment that I could actually decorate. Like, I remember that being something I think you could sort of do in the, the Shenmue games, right? And I I think it would have been really cool to have. Oh, cool! So I'm, I'm glad they finally have it. Can I get... So I can get my own Daruma at all? Although, I th actually, I think I, I think I saw... One in the uh, intro cutscene, maybe so. Maybe it's still here, but cool. I'll be just like Naruto. I wonder if that's like a is that like the normal thing then for like lawyers to have or something? It's a Daruma doll with the eye not painted in until you become a successful lawyer. Uh, try winning. Oh yes, 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 yes. Winning the plushies and the UFO catchers, or look for special knickknacks and collectibles only available at certain stores. Yes, that is what I've wanted. I wanted some purpose to get those UFO catcher plushies. Holy fuck, that's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's such a little thing, but it really does go a long way to make you go, Oh, man, I want to get all the stupid monkey ball characters. Oh, I'm super excited about that. Uh, music This Is The Soul. Every good detective has a vintage record player in the office, so put a record out on and jam out to your favorite tunes. Music will keep playing as long as you stay inside the office. You can find new records all throughout Kamurocho. Ooh, nice. Uh, okay. The mini games. It's a lullaby mahjong. It's the perfect place to play a friendly game mahjong before you start the game. Maybe... Pay a participation fee at the table, you wish. What could they possibly keep locked up in that weird back room? Oh, perfect for beginners, I see. It's, it's a it's difference between being easy and harder. Okay, so hard mahjong, easy mahjong. Okay, the batting center. Uh, what do they got here? The, the home run course challenge. Ten ball limit, challenge course. All right, that's... I'm going to bet very similar to how Kwame 2 was. Perhaps the manager has some kind of outrageous pitching contraption locked some, away somewhere. Uh, the shogi guys. Yeah, I haven't really dabbled much in shogi. Uh, oh, I can t oh, it'll tell me here. <gasps> oh my god! No fucking way! It's got Virtua Fighter 5! Final Showdown? Is that like some expansion to it? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Holy shit, that's fucking awesome! Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. And, and the up-to-date, the most recent Virtual Fighter game. I'll be honest, I actually haven't played uh, the most recent one, Virtual Fighter 5. I played... 
Virtual Fighter 4 a lot. That was the one I, I play a shit ton of. Uh, I wonder if one of these uh, Yakuza games has Virtual Fighter 4. Then I'll feel right at home, but... Well, that's good, though. I mean, like, I, I played the second one, and I, it felt very different from 4. That oh, I played that back in Kwame, too. It was still fun, but... Oh, that's that's good, though. The most recent one. Uh, Fighting Vipers? Don't recognize that. Puyo Puyo? That sounds familiar. Fantasy Zone. That was in Yakuza 0, I think. As was Space Harrier. Uh, Motor Raid? I'm not sure about that one. The Darts, UFO Ketcho, Kamuro of the Dead. Not sure about that either. Uh, case file. Snaps installed on your guys. Phone. Automatically or source and organize information. Uh, check when you're not sure what to do next. Particularly handy when you want to progress the story. Oh, okay. You can also check what you need to do for side cases as well. That's cool. So it's actually maybe something that... Well, I get like... actually Like in addition to the main story, which is probably have me solving cases. I can actually get like side stuff too. That aren't just goofy sub-story things. Yeah, personal evidence and details. Oh, that that's cool. That does sound like it's going to be the case. So now we're going to be working more as a detective who could also kick ass. Uh, okay, what's this? Commer goes with you. It's a smartphone application developed by the Commerce Chamber of Commerce. This app was developed to foster local participation in municipal activities and distribute SP to active members of the community. Profile displays a record of your activities around town, how many missions you've cleared, shop missions, lists all the shops and restaurants, and how many times you've used their services. Oh. Each venue has missions you can clear in order to gain SP. If you use a certain amount of money at some stores, you will award a Camaro Go coupon. Uh, check the requirements in the store screen. Oh, neat. Which I'm guessing like decreases the price of items. Uh, complete missions. Summarize your activities in Camarocho. Gain SP with each mission completion. Oh, pressing square will give you details about that location. That's nice. <laughs> you can save investigation records with the save app. Wow! Simply open the save app to choose the slot where you'd like to save your data. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Registering recovery items and shortcuts will allow you to use them without having to touch the, the menu. We got shortcuts now. Nice. All right, cool. Got a lot of uh, nice little additions here. Okay, I have a whole lot of nothing right now. Oh, interesting. I actually have... I have different disguises, too. Dirty clothes, stick it, stick out style. Signature style with a leather jacket, washed out jeans, and white sneakers. Cool. <laughs> My HP did not recover between stuff either. Uh, case file, main case, side case. That that's cool. I, I like that. So keeping track of all my people, all my my suspects maybe, and my evidence. And ooh, I'm liking this. I'm already liking this this setup here. All right, Camaro, go. Oh, this is gonna be. This is where all my missions come in. I, I see all my all my completion stuff is. Oh my god, shot mission zero out of four hundred and seven. Not even fuck. Skill oh skills learn. I got to get 126 skills. Drone parts developed 162. Jesus. So we're gonna have like a like a pocket circuit racing thing, but what with with drones? Okay, so ordering each of the different items. It says customers who buy over 2,000 yen will get a discount for their next purchase. That's cool. That was a question mark one. So it must be the secret menu. Oh man, this has got way harder challenges for uh, Virtual Fighter 5 than the other game had for Virtual Fighter 2. Clear all stages of Virtual Fighter 5. Win as all characters of Virtual Fighter 5. Win 30 times in Virtual Fighter 5. Jesus. Yeah, the other one was just like beat it one time or play as each character one time, which is super easy. All you do is start a fight and then quit. The drone lab. Oh, yeah. The drone league. Yeah, it's definitely going to be this game's pocket circuit thing. Outdoor shogi. Dragon's pa palace. Oh, that's the, the, the big casino place. That's right. That's... I think it might be run by homeless guys. Oh, they've got another one. Tachibana Mahjong. It's a lot of Mahjong places here. It's just like, this one's like the super one. It's named after the, the late Tachibana. Yakuza Zero. Paradise VR. What the fuck? Ooh, they got the beef zone. I think that's new. All right, cool. Well, I got the camera. And of course, I can take selfies. All right, time for a good selfie here. Uh, uh, you got me. So do that. Oh, sad face. Angry face. Oh, can I do like a super... Oh, Kira Kier Kier could do two for each one. He had like... He would have like... Sort of angry. Really angry. Happy. Very happy. He only has one though. He just just kind of a cool laid back smile. Uh, uh, uh. Yo, what up, dude? Smile for the camera. Ah. Ah, fuck. Oh, I can go actually go to first person too. Which I guess the other games had as well. So we got filters, monochrome, toy, sepia... Ah, just three, really? Okay, the toy filter doesn't look any different from the regular filter. I got a pinball machine, which I can't play. Ah, really? Let's see if I got a missed opportunity. So, yeah. 
限定門のどら焼きがあったぞ箱入りのやつえ源田先生筋金入りの和菓子派だったろなるほどじゃあ手土産はそれだ OK It's funny how they actually squeeze between the chair like that. It's actually the only way to get to the other side of this. It's kind of a cramped office, honestly. Change of scenery. Oh, yeah! I don't actually have anything, though, do I? Uh, do I just put it up on my... Oh, I... Oh, okay. No, I, I can pick. Oh, that's cool! Look at that. Okay, so it just seems like I have, like, the three places I can place stuff. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> I guess I should get some records first. I don't have any records. I'm a dirty peasant. Okay, I am still sanctioned off here, too. Okay, we're going over to Popo. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know, I'm trying to decide what voice I should give this. If I should give this guy like the Axel voice, or should I give him like the Apollo voice? That could also be potentially uh, appropriate for this guy. Oh, I'm like seeing messages or something from uh, like people like tweeting or something. There's some really fishy going on at Koi Bride. <laughs> I can see everything you post on social media. I should go home with Sokka, right? After Kimura her a boner too. Oh shit. Oh yeah, it's the the karaoke. Wait a minute. Is there not karaoke in this game? Nani the fuck? Unless they moved into a different place. This is this is the usual place. If it says karaoke, it's still it. There's the lady that served me last game. Lady, let me in! Well maybe maybe it unlocks at some point. That was that'd be really weird to have a Yaksa game without karaoke in it. I don't know though, maybe this maybe the Maybe the guy who, sing, who uh, voice acts this dude can't sing or something. It's also a possibility. Oh, yeah. Got uh, vending machines. Can I... No. Well, I am seriously s sanctioned off here. Ooh. Bet I can have fights in here like I could before, right? I don't think I can break anything in here. But unless I try to kick the shit out of it. No, no, I say. I wow, have a single thing for sale for me. Uh, Doriaki sword set. It's popular on popular on the internet. It's perfect for small gifts. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. I like Doctor Leskin in there. Oi, shop popo. Oh, dude, look at those fucking. So we'll do now. Bring it. Bring it back to Genda Sensei. Oh, dude, look at those fucking chicken, chicken balls. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, can I get some Duracell batteries while I'm here, too? Some Jetta Donuts. They got all the classics. Oh, wait, can I, can I actually look at the magazines in this game? Can we please get back to doing that? No. They didn't have Inyaksa Kwame 2, either. Which I found very disappointing. Come on, that was one of the coolest things. I mean, I couldn't actually read the magazines, but I could still see the covers, and it was still... It was very immersive, okay? Can I walk two feet without getting into a fight with somebody? What? I peacocked your mom last night! <laughs> <laughs> if I don't want to die that badly. Uh, wall jump, wall strike. For a wall jump, by pressing X toward a wall, sprint, sprint toward a wall, on top of it, being able to wall strike by pressing square, you also perform triangle circle moves, or an AX out of a wall jump after certain skills. Ooh, all right. That's not what I do. Oh fuck, sorry! Oh fuck! Oh god, I'm so sorry! Ah oh, shit, guys, we better bring this inside, alright? Don't want to hurt destroy anything ever out there! Ah! Ah!
Upgrade abilities! There we go! It says health and attack. Learn various battle skills. There are some skills you must unlock by meeting certain requirements. Try loading wall jump finisher from your battle skills. Okay. Uh, powerful move unleashed from a wall jump allows you to stop a deadly attack. Triangle right before you kick off a wall during a wall jump. Which I still have yet to actually perform. There we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hey, guy, look what I can do! Okay, I think I better switch to my other thing, right? Uh, crane style! Just gotta... Oh, wait, how, how do I... Oh, wait, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. I was looking at it up there, I saw an R2. Nandutu! The bow god, yeah! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Hey, can I do the thing? Yes! There we go! Warm this up for. Heat that shit up! Oh, yeah, that's the fucking shit right there! That's how you complete a mission with style! Sorry about the shot, by the way. Anyway, about those Duracell batteries. <laughs> Captain of the Matsugani family, a Tojo clan subsidiary, Kyoi Hamura. Yeah, that's the guy whose face they changed, I think. Although he really doesn't look that much different. I think he just made him look a little younger. お前ら誰に手出したか分かってんのかいやこいつはうちの親父に取っちゃ息子当然なんだよ俺の言ってること分かるかよしてくださいよそういうのいいんでよかねそういうのよ。松金組のメンツの問題なんでな。すいませんでした。ケンゴ。お前まだターボに会ったことなかったな。顔覚えとけ。探偵の矢神さんだ。はい。よろしくお願いします。こいつは昔 <laughs> おやじが学費の面倒を見て弁護士にしたんだがよ。ああ、ええ。ところがな、その殺人鬼はシャバに出てきた途端。今度は自分の恋人ぶっ殺しまったんだよ。<笑><笑> マジっすか。ジーズ。結局の意識よ。そういやあいつ。もう潰されたか。執行はまだです。早く済ませりゃお前もスッキリするのにな。ああ。なんこれ。例の探偵から取り立てた金です。もううちの取り分引いてあるん
I'm missing Genda Sensei. Better drop by the office soon. Street battles! Alright, generate low lives, ruthless thugs, and all their scoundrels constantly run the street and search for a fight. You can choose to run away from or outright ignore these th thugs, but teach them a lesson will net you some SP and the occasional item. Be warned that some cops will show up if you fight fights take too long, so leave the area immediately if you don't wind up in jail. What the fuck? Seriously? Am I going to jail? Remember the good old days of being able to beat on whoever I wanted. There are some skills that remain locked until certain conditions are met. Uh, acquire a skill book from minigame prizes or side case completion rewards. Capture a 2D code. Use the camera on your phone or drone to take a photo of the 2D code found on posters scanned through our Camarocha. Ooh. Uh, clearing certain events. Or improving your relationship with friends. What the fuck? Somebody got social links in this game? Me interact with as many people as possible and explore Camarocha to the fullest in order to gain access to all the skills available. Take a step outside and see what the city has to offer. Neat! That sounds fun! Works of regular meals. Okay, I think I saw it already. So the wall drip allows me to dodge almost any attack. Yami possesses a wide variety of skills to help him solve his cases. There are three types. Ability, battle, special. Skills that raise his base stats, uh, such as health and attack. Those are the ability. These are skills that further increase Yami's stats if certain requirements are met. Battle consists of a variety of fighting moves, such as X actions or alterations, alternate fight variations of finishing moves. Learn a lot of battle skills if you want to have an arsenal, flashy, powerful attacks. Special, a broad category of skills that allows you that helps you to explore the city, such as tailing and lockpicking. Ooh, lockpicking? There are many special skills that come in handy in unexpected ways. We should not to ignore them. Okay. Uh, it's all in the app. Alrighty. Cost a amount of SP. Okay, so this seems a lot simpler than the other one where I had, like, a bunch of different types of experience, right? This was just, just basically one that I spent for everything. Okay, I get SP by clearing missions, in case file tasks, side cases, building friendship with people, playing mini games, clearing each type of mission in the Comro Go app. Hangout spots. There are numerous venues in town called hangout spots which act as Yagami's primary source of information uh, by frequenting hangout spots to gather new information on investigations or simply have a chat with some interesting people oh neat some of these people may end up becoming powerful allies in your quest to bring justice to the streets justice provided you spend enough time with them uh, okay cool definitely some new stuff all right holy crap I got a bunch of skills now um, okay 650 I do not have enough for any of this stuff alcohol tolerance let the alcohol flow through your veins. Charge up the XH faster while I'm fucking wasted. Con conscious eater. Take the time to think about what you're eating so you di digest properly. Eating recovers an additional 10% health. Oh, listening to music on record player gradually replenishes health. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, detect his hunch. Fiber when the magnifying glass hovers over a hidden area during hit during search mode. That's neat. Oh, always know which key to use on doors you've already opened. Okay, well, that sounds pretty good. Uh, probably best to get that early, as well as this. It's pretty cheap. Um, always know what door... Yeah, let's, let's get that as well. Uh, enable you, you to see one sheer line while when lockpicking, okay? Thin, uh, city hands. Thin wires break less during thumb turn bypass. Whatever that is. Okay. Might as well just get that as well, then. Photo missions increase the photo op time. There's a whole bunch of new stuff here. Blame shifter. No matter how much you wreck a shop, you can keep shopping there as usual. Oh, really? <laughs> oh my god, so they don't turn me away like they did with Kiryu. Yay, I'll get that now so I can use it on this guy. Further increase your intimacy when giving a girl uh, your girlfriend a present? Why I get a girlfriend? Dating ways. Further increase your intimacy when playing mini games with your girlfriend. Conversation with your girlfriend. Text messages with your girlfriend. Oh my god. Turn to the case when a friend meets and greets you in the city. Social smoker. Charge up the escort when you light up a cigarette in the smoking area. What the fuck? Sure, why not? Wow, there's a lot of these. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Chain smoker! Yes, this game is encouraging encouraging me to smoke. It'd be funny if each of these skills that said the bottom. Please, please smoke responsibly. Don't vape and drive. Uh, dash attack. Leap toward an enemy and knock them off balance. Alters a bit between combat styles. Uh, triangle while sprinting? Okay. Holy shit, we got a lot of X moves here. Ooh, the drunken fist. Oh, that's cool. So I, I actually start getting new moves like that. That's neat. So I've got a drunken, drunken fist style in this. I really am Jackie Chan, aren't I? I'm Japanese Chan. That sounds pretty useful. Triangle while being grabbed by an enemy. All right, triangle during a wall jump. Sounds good. And up, uh, sure. Make my girlfriend like me more. Get a freaking girlfriend in this game. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, look, you, you're filled up your shop. It's all good now, right? So we're still good. All right. 
<laughs> Wait, what do you say to you? Master Dater, I'm scared of you! <laughs> Wait, is that what he said? Uh -huh. I'm scared, buy stuff and go home! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that's right, that's the power of this perk, baby. Oh, good, then my pocket tissues are here. Got all my stuff here. Uh, oh, my favorite cigarettes. Fantastic. Fucking expensive. Uh, Alright, I'm not gonna get too crazy yet. Howdy got dog as I must. So am I free to go anywhere now? I'd say so. Okay, so I'm going to a different law office, the Gendal law office, to to drop this shit off, I see. Ah, oh, come on, what, you want a piece of this shit? Ah! Oh, here we go. Oh, fuck yeah, okay. I took out both those guys with that shit. Crane hatchling. Now all I need to do is start doing some freaking uh, Bruce Lee sounds. Oh, I need some fucking chicken wings. Uh, ah, fuck, where's the door? Yes, I must say. Uh. Fuck, this stuff's expensive. Hey, you know what? Better wait till I get some more money. Camaro Theater. That's new. Can I... Can I not use the vending machines anymore? Do I have to unlock vending machine power? They just got rid of them. Oh, that sucks. That, those were pretty cool. I like to be able to just go over to a vending machine and get healing items that easily. Is it a beer festival? What is this? I deck this place out. God, this looks like... Is this Japanese Super Bowl? Japanese Beer Fest? Koban. Corona. Seriously, what is going on over here? This place is bumping. Well, <laughs> looks like it would be bumping if there were people here. Excuse me. Oh god, where am I? Oh, I can jump on cars now. Cool. Where if I have, if I can run out of stamina at all with this guy? This guy is right next to the popo shop as well. Get out my blooming way. Is this the law office that I used to work at? It, it is, isn't it? Yo. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh, Lawyer at the Gendal office is Issei Hoshino. Hoshino. You源田先生、どうも。俺には海の親を入れて親父と呼べる人が3人いる。この源田先生もその人。ああ。俺が弁護士になる前からこの事務所で働かせてくれた。俊太に先生はどちらに夕方頃見てねえんだ。まあちょう
Oh, interesting. Okay, so I talked to these guys about jobs too. So, so kind of like working, like hopping between these places, getting stuff to investigate. Hey, can I take your Daruma with me? Hi, other dad. あの、なんか仕事ありませんか、源田先生。仕事な。そもそもお前いつまで探偵なんか続けんだ。こんな危なっかしい町で。It's okay, Genda. I know Kung Fu. Ah, I see. Ah, I see. Ah, I see. なあ、やがみ。はい。お前もう弁護士に戻る気はねえのかありませんね。どうしてもかよ。見てください。俺のこの目。うん。こいつは人が善人か悪人か。まるで見分けられないんですよ。そんな奴に弁護士なんて任せ
But yeah, let me know what kind of voice do you think I should give him. I I'm thinking either like the Axel voice or the Apollo voice. I don't know. You guys can decide. Or something else. Just let me know. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.